Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Welcome to your October reading for this current year, 2019. Yay! How are y'all doing tonight? I'm doing fantastically lastical. Newcomers and returners or whatever. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And some of y'all look like you're doing pretty damn good, too. Scorpios, check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it, for it is just a card game. It might work. It might not. Just boop your nose. Away we go, and away we go. Right, right. For anybody who wants a personal read done for them, all the information's in the description box below. Newcomers, first reads on the house, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. So, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with you. Ah, someone had a bad judgment call. Either you or a person you're dealing with, Scorpio. And that's leaving the person in a situation where they gotta feel like they gotta defend themselves, fight off some motherfuckers who are coming after them. Hmm. That's never good. No, no, no. Someone wants to come in from the cold. Five of Pentacles reversed, but the obstacle and challenge is being happy emotionally where they are. Trying to overcome that shit, right? Leave that comfort zone, if you will. We got a King of Wands. Could be a Leo, also Sagittarius or Aries, right? You might have a fear about them. I'm not even saying rejection, just a fear. Straight up. Straight up now, tell me, do you want to plant a flower in the desert? Oh, 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 it might be successful, or whatever I'm trying to say. Uh-uh. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's how things are going to start, how it'll end. Come in full circle, right? What did you plant in that desert? You might be feeling with your beginning theme, like everyone's getting their blessings but you, and you're tired of waiting around. You want to get some shit done, right? I feel like, though, you're taking everything the wrong way. Nothing here looks very, um, bad, except for, like, the judgment reverse and, like, the five of wands reverse, where it feels like you just want to come back in from a cold, but I feel like you're being really defensive about it, too. Like, you're not sure what to make of it. You don't know who's trying to hit you. You can't see anybody else that's coming from everywhere. One's going to go right for your fucking kneecaps or your nuts. But you got a shield down there, so you're good. You're using your fucking, like, KO can attacks. Your man is getting low. You're almost out of potions. You're ready to go, though. You will kill as many people as you have to before you die. You know, that kind of thing, right? Like, you're in that kind of desperation a little bit. But you have the wrong idea about that. And that's what's bothersome to me. Like, are, like, you might be taking things the wrong way. Just saying, man. Um, you know. Something isn't getting released with truth, right? Ooh, two extra. I'll give you that. And you're trying to be as gentle as possible, but I feel like you're not listening to what anybody's telling you. I feel like you're in, like, that mode, right? Like... The truth still isn't out with this judgment about not resurrecting something. And it's like you want to be as gentle as possible. It could also be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But it's like people come up saying the wrong shit. Like, fuck, that could be a posse of cops being like, put the weapon down. Put your hands in the air. Get on your knees. Put your hands interlocked with the fingers behind your head. All that shit, right? I've never been arrested. I'm just assuming. I mean, like, if you were in a car, I guess, or in a, or some shit. I don't know. But it's like you got a vengeance and you don't want to listen to anybody. You want to go after some shit. You feel like people are giving you the wrong advice, but you're trying. But I feel like you just don't know something or you have the wrong idea about something. Seven of Wands down here, Scorps. Scorps. Mm -hmm. You're fighting the ability to make some peace with somebody, I feel like. Um. Because the material don't matter when it comes to your friend. That's kind of cute. I'll drop one more on that. It's like you care more about your pets than the money. 
Like, you know how to treat an animal gently, and for some reason you have a bison as a pet. You know? Um, you try to pour your cup out, and it isn't successful. Like, you see this person as an animal, but you still got care for them. Like, you know, you'll still, like, use your pentacle to give them some sort of comfort or to make them feel better, because you just can't quite get your emotions off of them. But you're still trying to fight it, you know? Five of Pentacles reverse. You want to try to come back in from the cold? Because you think that's the just thing right now, right? And you will shoot a motherfucker in, in a quick minute in order to do that shit. I'll, I'll tell you what. You'll shoot justice if it isn't moving quick enough. Like, holy, like you're holding the bitch hostage. Jesus. Scorpios, yours was always a little bit traumatic, even for me. But I, I like it. I like it that, that that there's a fact that you're a dark zodiac sign too. It makes me feel a little better about my darkness. But you guys like actually go for shit. I'm a bit more of a pussy, honestly. Um, now that your obstacle and challenge is with this happiness right here. It's kind of like you blindfolded yourself and you're letting other people decide what's gonna happen. You're just like meh, whatever. Um, cause you feel like that's what the Bible has told you to do. It's like you just kind of want to leave it in, um. I feel like you want to try to leave it in God's hands, but you're the one reading the book. You know? Like, you can't just hold up the book and expect everybody to read it from that fucking distance. Look in the book and read the words out loud so people know what you gotta say. Like, you have shit to say. You actually have a moral point here, man. Like, you're not evil all the time. You actually have some morality. It's just, you know, sometimes you think of murder 90% of the time, and that can be scary, but, you know, after you get to know somebody, like, it's not bad, it's just the interest, that's all. But it's like, you, like, you're, it's like, you're rejecting your morality, but you're not telling anybody what it is, you're just holding up the book and just being like, here, read from here. I didn't tell you to get up, read it from where you're at, you know? <laughs> You know, like, you want the peasant to bring you some more chow. Yeah, I'm dropping one more on that. Because it's just like, I, I don't understand why you're just holding the book up for everybody else to see. It's like when people come question you, you just hold up the book so you don't have to say anything. Either that or had someone doing that to you. It could be a tourist, man, but it's like, what the fuck? You can't just hold a book where people can't read it and then expect them to, to understand why you're not putting yourself in the fight that you're having them fight for you. You know? Oh. Oh, okay. You're not trying to be in the fight. Like, you've broadcasted this shit enough and now you're just like, you know what, I've, I've, I've explained myself enough, I need to go. Someone's still kind of following you around and every time you turn around and be like, look! This is what I just read. I'm going. But buys they have copies of this fucking book at Borders. In Barnes and Nobles. I miss Borders, man. Like, that was such a good fucking store. Ugh. Okay. King of Wands. Your fears and rejections. You're afraid this person is just gonna come and take whatever and leave the rest to rot? Like, they got what they wanted, and they don't care about the rest. They're just letting the swords go to heaven so they don't have to deal with the heartbreak. They're all good and shit. They're not hurt. Meanwhile, you're aiming that arrow right at their heads. You know, just as a warning. Just to, just letting them know I'm still here. Um, mm, how this shit will start and how it will end. Full circle. Seven of pentacles, right? You planted a flower in the desert. And it's time to bury that shit. There's something to bury. Because there's too much temptation. The devil could be Capricorn in here, right? Man, we got a slew of motherfuckers in here, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, fuck it. It doesn't matter. Okay. Scorpio... I feel like you really tried with somebody. I feel like you were projecting your morality to let people know you didn't want involved in the fighting in the first place. 
or you weren't about to play mind games or you weren't going to come to some sort of decisions and you actually had to walk away at some point because the temptations were too much you needed to kill it and you can see it for what it was like you had the answer right in front of you your intuition was telling you that shit right what's the ending theme for you fill her up man because it it's not this situation isn't going to be fair for you. You're going to have to fill your own cup and drink from it. Because no one's going to share their cup with you, I feel like. Everyone's too busy getting their pentacles to think about sharing it with you. Currently, that is anyway. Until I need you, and then, it's, uh, that, then there's that sort of bullshit, right? <coughs> oh, God. Sorry, I'm dying. Actually, I'm getting over a cold. I just got the cough. Let's see. Last three advice cards, y'all. Yeah, just take a walk. Just just start walking, man. You're going on a new adventure. Um, because you're tired of getting backstabbed and shit. You feel like you just wandered into it. And it's left you feeling really fucking bitter after all of this, right? It's like you took a chance with people only to end up having to walk away eventually anyway. Uh, seeing things for how they are, seeing how you've been hurt, how you've been betrayed, how you've been treated like shit by somebody, you know, and how it's left you bitter and feeling like you have a hard time opening up to people again. Like, yeah, and I can understand now why you're aiming that arrow at this motherfucker's head who just took the one pentacle and let the rest go to rot. Um, you feel like there's still not a lot you know, especially in regards to what these people are fucking saying, because it's sending, I feel like it's sending you mixed signals, like, you want to hate this person, but then people come up and possibly say shit to make you really question, um, what it is you're feeling and thinking, you know? <clears throat> I don't know, man, like, honestly, people's opinions... They're just their opinions. It's all up to you, really. It's your choice on what you want to do. Like, you can listen to people, or you can listen to yourself, because only you know what's best for you. Some people might know an answer that might be helpful in your situation, and some people will say shit that's really fucking dumb, and it's going to make you really hate them because they did something stupid right in front of you. But that's what I got for you, Scorpio. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, and subscribe don't have to it's your choice but like i would greatly appreciate it of course once again if you want a personal down in the description box below i will see you guys on the flip side love your faces mwah, mwah. kisses see you later bye